So now we're going to go over the MPS on the computer and I'm going to give you the basics of each of the items on the menu and then give you an example of how to upload and push the material onto one or more sandbots. It's very simple, it's very easy, and you'll be able to do it in no time. So this is the login page of the MPS website. Um, simply on the Chihound Cloud web um, homepage, just click login, and just get to this page, enter in the information, and then click login. And then you'll go to MPS. So this is the homepage for MPS, and then here are the different tabs on the left-hand side, homepage, resource library, which will show everything that you have in the cloud. And then just simply go back to home. Um, and then you have the service manager, which is right here. These are the functions and different apps in Sandbot that you can control from your computer anytime, anywhere with Wi-Fi. So you have dance, video, music, emojis. Um, this is the device manager. This lets you control your Sandbots. You can put them into groups here and then you can also scroll one by one individually or use the search bar to find the, your, a specific robot or robots. Um, so this is the lease lock page. Basically this allows you to remotely lock or unlock a sandbot. When you remotely lock one, someone cannot just go up and use it until you remotely unlock it. So then this is the data center. Uh, the data center is where you can view um, where a robot is, for example, with the robot map. Um, zoom out or zoom in. And uh, we can see different versions, the interface, the functions, um, what apps people have been using, all that can be found in the data center. So we're gonna go back to the service manager and I'm just gonna show you how to upload and push a file onto Sandbot. So we're gonna just use Trumpet or the reminders and keep in mind that every one of these functions is pretty similar. So once you know how to do one, you'll know how to do them all. So you just hit create Trumpet or create music or whichever. You can create an original one or select one from the resource library. We're just gonna go ahead and select one from the resource library. And we're just gonna choose a PowerPoint file. Uh, so just click one, hit next, and then you can enter in a name. I'll just do MPS demo. And then you'll hit play PowerPoint note. And then hit delete, and then delete allowed means that on the robot itself, you can delete the PowerPoint or whichever file that you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that for now and hit save. So now you've seen that it has been saved and then find it on here. You can see that's already been updated and you hit push and then you'll find the sandbot that you need. right here. This is the one I'm looking for. And then hit push and you can also select one or more. Push, see if the operation is successful. And you can see here that it shows up. Locate it. Press play. So you can upload this PowerPoint to one or more robots depending on how many you have. And this is a PowerPoint file, but you can upload music files, or a movie, or a dance, anything you want. You can upload to Sandbot, one or more, with these. See that the operation is successful. So to see the status, um, you can go here, and you'll see here, right here, it's been updated, and click plus sign and you can see that the push 
was successful. And that's pretty much it. Again, very simple, very easy. And that's all there is to it. And that's pretty much sums it up for the MPS demo. And again, if you have any more questions, you can visit our website or view your user manual or user guide, ask, ask a question in our forum, and be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at sandbot underscore robot. Thank you. So we're gonna look at MPS and Sandbot Store. So as we've already seen, M with MPS, you can control Sandbot remotely, upload PowerPoint files, video files, whatever. So here's the Sandbot Store. And with MPS, you can create a custom screensaver so you don't have to have this default screensaver. It could be whatever picture you want. And next we'll go over, so marketing publicity, where you can upload different marketing materials to help promote products. Um, with the dance, you can upload a dance for Sandbot to do when customers enter the store. And then you can also set the usher with the greeting to greet customers, another way to greet customers, or maybe introduce new products or deals or coupons, whatever. And product introduction, and I am using the touch screen, but with MPS you can use it remotely in your house or at a coffee shop, doesn't matter where. So let's just look at some product introductions. Promotion. So, as I stated before, with MPS you can upload any video that you want to for a product introduction. Maybe a new line of shoes, or shirts, or maybe there's a deal, buy one get one free, you name it, you can upload it. And with MPS you can do it from the comfort of your own home.